in this video we are going to discuss few numerical questions on voltage regulation so let's see a transformer possesses a percentage resistance and percentage reactance of 1 and 4 percent respectively its voltage regulation at power factor 0.8 lagging and 0.8 leading will be 0.8 lagging and 0.8 leading will be first of all voltage regulation formula per unit resistance into cos pi plus or minus per unit reactance into sin phi you know this so for lagging the voltage regulation is plus per unit r into cos pi plus per unit x into sin phi what is per unit r 1% what is cos pi 0.8 lagging 0.8 lagging plus per unit x 4% sin phi if the cos pi 0.8 sin phi 0.6 right so what will be the answer this is 8% by 10 plus 24% by 10. 4, 6 are 24. So, all together 32% by 10. 32% by 10, nothing but 3.2%. So, for lagging load, the voltage regulation is plus 3.2%. 3.2% and 3.2%. Two options are there. And next one, for leading load, voltage regulation is equals to per unit R into cos pi minus per unit X into sin phi. Minus per unit X into sin phi. Yes or no? So, what is per unit R? 1% cos pi 0.8 lagging they given. So, 0 0.8 minus percentage reactance 4% and cos pi 0.8 sin phi 0.6. So, what is the answer? This is 8% by 10 minus 24% by 10. 8 minus 24 is a 16. 16% by 10 with negative. So, the answer is, the answer is minus 1.6%. Minus 1.6% is your answer. Minus 1.6%. Like a questions they may ask you. This is repeated question actually. We can expect for a diploma level. So, let us see this question. What is this question? The same question. The percentage resistance and reactance of a transformer, they given 3% and 4%. The voltage to be applied to HV side to carry out SC test at rated current is short circuit test at rated current is. So, how much voltage we need to apply on the on the secondary side for short circuited condition. Let us see, first of all, try to calculate percentage impedance. How much is the percentage impedance? Is a 5 percent. Percentage resistance 3 percent. Per unit reactance, per unit reactance 4 percent. Of course, per unit impedance 5 percent will come. 5% will come. So, the voltage to be applied on HV side. So, HV side, how much voltage we need to apply under short circuited condition equals to 5%. It is impedance drop value. What is 5% of 5% of 440? 5% of 440, 5 1s are 5 2s are 44 by 2. So, the answer is 22 volts we need to apply to carry the rated current. Generally, the per unit impedance value, how much is there? That much we need to apply here. Is a simple question. The uh, nice model, like equations we can expect in our exams. Next, the transformer has percentage resistance and reactance. What are its voltage regulation at uh, 0.8 lagging and 0.8 leading? 0.8 lagging and 0.8 leading. As usual, sir, same question. Let us see per unit R into cos pi plus per unit X into sin phi for lagging. What is per unit R? 2 percent. Cos pi 0.8 right plus 4 percent 0.6. So, this is 16 percent. This is 24 percent by 10. So, 40 percent by 10. 
40 percent by 10 nothing but 4 percent first one is the 4 percent only one option is there let's see the next one also for leading per unit r into cos pi minus per unit x into sin phi so what is per unit r here 2 percent at 0.8 lagging minus 4 percent at uh, 0.8 lagging nothing but sin phi 0.6 so what is the answer? 16% minus 24%. 16% minus 24% by 10, which is 8% by 10. 8% by 10. 8% by 10, nothing but 0.8. But it should be negative. Here, mistake is that it should be negative. Minus 8% is your answer. Minus 0.8% is your answer. So this is the answer of this question. Very simple question, sir. Let's see the next question. Next question. The percentage resistance and reactance is they given. The approximate regulation at full load 0.8 lagging. Just we calculated the same question. Per unit R into cos pi plus per unit X into sin phi, which is equals to 16% plus 24% of 10. So, by 10. So, 40% by 10. 40% by 10. So, the answer is 4%. The same question actually. Next question. The voltage regulation of a transformer. The voltage regulation of a transformer having 2% resistance and 5% reactance. So, what is voltage regulation? Per unit R into cos pi plus per unit X into sin phi because 0.8 lagging they given so this is 16 percent by 10 plus 30 percent by 10 which is equals to 46 percent by 10 46 percent by 10 nothing but 4.6 percent with positive because of lagging a simple question sir next the regulation of transformer in which ohmic losses is 1%. Ohmic losses nothing but per unit resistance. Ohmic losses are equals to per unit resistance. Remember that one point. That's enough. And uh, reactance drop they given. Reactance drop they given 5%. Then 0.8 lagging power factor voltage regulation. Per unit R into cos pi plus per unit x into sin phi, per unit x into sin phi, 8% by 8% plus 30% by 10, 38% by 10, 38% by 10, nothing but 3.8% is your answer, 3.8% is your answer. Simple question, right? Next one, the same a 10 kVA 400 by 200 volt single phase transformer with resistance 3, reactance 6 percent respectively. Current of 50 amperes to the resistive load. The voltage across the load. The voltage across the load they are asking. Simply, first of all, calculate the voltage regulation. Then after you can find. Otherwise, even though they given, they given what is the value of current as well as percentage resistance and percentage reactance we can calculate anyway let's see voltage regulation is equals to percentage r into cos pi percentage r into cos pi they are not given the power factor right simply they are asking the voltage across the load single phase transform with a resistance of 3 percent and reactance of they given resistive load they given see here See here, this is the key point. That is purely resistive load. At purely resistive load, at unity power factor, at pure resistive load, the voltage regulation is equals to, can you expect the answer? The voltage regulation is equals to per unit resistance, which is in our question, the voltage regulation is equals to 3%. Voltage regulation, they given 3%, that's it. You can get the answer now. So, voltage regulation is 3%, 3% is equals to no load voltage. What is the no load voltage? Generally, generally take from high voltage side or low voltage side. Here we have a two configurations, two configurations. So, let's take the secondary side. So, no load voltage minus full load voltage by no load voltage 
so the answer is so the answer is 6 volts is equals to 200 minus V so V is equals to 200 minus 6 which is equals to 194 volts 194 volts is your answer because of secondary side we are we are calculating on secondary side that's easy way of question here the key point is pure resistive load for pure resistive load voltage regulation is equals to per unit R just for per unit R so 3 percent of 200 which is equals to 6 volts drop 6 volts drop that's why 194 volts is the 194 volts is the our load voltage here 200 volts is there here here 194 volts will be there the voltage drop is 6 volts the voltage drop given by the voltage regulation this is simple manner very easy question right sir next question next question a single phase 100 kva 1000 by 100 volts 50 hertz transformer has a voltage drop of 5 percent across the series impedance at full load so voltage drop they given voltage drop they given 5 percent at full load of this 3 percent due to resistance per unit resistance 3 percent ultimately per unit reactance 4 percent 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square everything they given so percentage voltage regulation at full load 0.8 lagging so voltage regulation is equals to per unit r into cos pi plus per unit x into sin phi because of lagging plus so this is 24 percent plus 24 percent so 48 percent by 10 48 percent by 10 nothing but 4.8 percent is your answer 4.8 percent is your answer simple question when they given that is drop due to resistance it's clear 